Ms. Kusendova, welcome uh, for, I don't know, the fifth or the sixth time in our show. Hopefully, it will continue. Uh, unfortunately, in this uh, uh, crazy times, I can, I can say. So uh, let's start with the good news. Well, thank you so much for having me again to keep our uh, residents informed, to keep Ontarians informed in all kinds of languages. So thank you for doing that. So the good news is that we have our vaccination portal, our vaccination phone number, which is 1-888-999-6488. It is available seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. And the good news is that we fixed an initial issue which had a glitch and now uh, when people call, the service is available in over 300 languages. So Ontarians can book an appointment for their vaccination in over 300 languages, in addition to, of course, English and French. So this is, uh, you know, wonderful news for Ontarians, uh, especially for viewers of Omni TV. So I'm very proud that we were able to address that issue that we had at the beginning, and now uh, people can access it in 300 languages. So just to, to mention here, there are three options when uh, when somebody's dialing this 188 number, one for English, two for French, and three other languages, right? Exactly. Perfect. So let's move now to the new stay at home order. What does this imply and uh, uh, how long will it last? So as you know, the stay at home order uh, was effective as of Thursday, April 8th at midnight. And this means that residents and Ontarians should only leave their home for essential services, such as groceries, medical appointments, uh, accessing pharmacy, uh, getting exercise, walking your dog, for example, that's allowable, um, and for, for essential, essential purposes only. For those who can work at home, employers should accommodate to be allowed to work at home. But of course, there are those who cannot work from home and still need to go, such as our police officers, our nurses, doctors, and many others, grocery clerks, et cetera. So the, those people, of course, need to continue going to work. So um, the reason for this stay-at-home order is because we were very concerned uh, watching our ICU beds uh, capacity become more and more strained. So as of um, yesterday, I believe we had 500 people in ICUs sick with COVID-19. And so that's an alarming trend. And we are seeing younger people in our ICUs uh, and we are seeing a higher percentage of variants of concern. And so what we're seeing with these variants of concern is that they are more aggressive, lead to poorer health outcomes, lead to more people end up uh, on a ventilator, and also they are transmitted easier. So that is why we are concerned. Uh, we really need to try to flatten the third curve. I know it sounds like we've been repeating this message for a long time, but we are in the middle of a third wave and we need to do everything we can. And we need to put this emergency break on for the next 28 days in order to make sure that our ICUs do not get overwhelmed because that would be very, um, dramatic if we had to decide you know who gets a ventilator and who doesn't we don't want that situation happening in Ontario but what I will say is that there are some um, stores that are still allowed for uh, in-person uh, shopping of course grocery stores pharmacies and personal hygiene uh, products uh, those you can always buy in person but also there are some exceptions for uh, certain stores to be open by appointment only and I will quickly list them so by a Appointment only at 25% capacity, uh, safety supply stores, um, uh, businesses that sell assistive devices, aids or supplies, mobility devices, so, uh, medical supplies, hearing aids, things like that, rental and leasing services, including automobile, commercial and light industrial machinery and equipment rental, optical stores, of course, that sells prescription eyewear to the public, businesses that sell motor vehicle, boats, and other watercrafts, vehicle and equipment repaired and essential uh, maintenance, and retail stores operated by telecommunications providers. So if you need to go buy your, or repair your cell phone, those stores are still are still open. So by appointment only. We know that it has been a very, very difficult time for our small businesses. Um, and we feel the pain and we know that most of these businesses are run by families. They're, you know, small mom and pop stores. 
And so we, we really encourage those businesses to apply for the small business grant at Ontario.ca slash small business. Uh, and hopefully this will be the last lockdown that we have. We really, this is our goal for this lockdown to be the last one. What happens to the malls and to the big stores, the box stores? Uh, so big box stores are still allowed to be open. However, um, we wanted to make it fair. And that is why we're asking big box stores to actually close off the aisles that sell non-essential items. So big box stores can be open to sell groceries, to sell pharmaceuticals, personal hygiene products and pet food, for example, those are all considered essential, but non-essential items will be taped off and will not allow to proceed uh, in terms of sales. Of course, all businesses are still allowed to operate um, online and for a curbside pickup. So with malls, uh, what we're trying to do is set up special access, I believe in the parking lot where uh, businesses can still operate curbside pickup. People order online, you pay online and you just come and pick up your, uh, your purchases in the, in the parking lot of the malls. So, by all means, we're encouraging Ontarians to please support your small businesses. You know, when, where possible, don't buy things on Amazon. Please try to search your local stores in the community and buy from them for curbside pickup. This is the best thing you can do to support our business owners and our families that are struggling so much right now. To all Ontarians who are doing the right thing and staying at home, from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you. And just in case some of you need a quick reminder of what we're asking, please stay at home. Stats Akasa.